Introduction to Capital Punishment Capital punishment is also known as death penalty. It is a legal process by which a person is put to death by the state as a punishment for a crime. The use of capital punishment is a highly controversial issue with arguments both for and against it. Prohance of Capital Punishment Deterrence one of the primary benefits of the capital punishment is its potential to deter the crime. Proponents of capital punishment argue that the fear of being executed will prevent individuals from committing violent crimes. Retribution Another benefit of capital punishment is that it provides a sense of retribution to the victims, families and society. The death penalty is seen as a way of punishing the offender for the harm caused to the victim and their loved ones. Justice Capital punishment is often seen as a way of ensuring justice for the victim. Proponents argue that the death penalty is a fair punishment for those who have committed murder as it is an appropriate response to the severity of the crime. Cost Effectiveness While it may seem counterintuitive, proponents of capital punishment argue that it is actually a cost-effective form of punishment. This is because the cost of keeping an offender in prison for life can be significantly higher than the cost of executing them. Public Safety Another benefit of capital punishment is that it can improve public safety. Proponents argue that executing dangerous criminals removes them from the society and makes it a safer place. This is particularly true for the individuals who have committed multiple heinous crimes and are unlikely to ever be rehabilitated. Demerits of Capital Punishment Irreversible and Final One of the most significant demerit of capital punishment is that it is final and irreversible. Once a person has been executed, there is no way to undo the punishment. Inconsistent and Arbitrary The use of the capital punishment is often inconsistent and arbitrary with the factors such as race, social status and geography playing a significant role in determining who is sentenced to death. Expensive Capital punishment is also an expensive system that requires a significant amount of resources to administer. Inhumane and violates human rights Capital punishment is often criticized as being inhumane and violating basic human rights. The execution process can be cruel and painful and it is often carried out in a way that is degrading and humiliating to the condemned individual. Does not deter crime Another demerit of capital punishment is that it is often ineffective in deterring the crime. Studies have shown that there is no clear evidence that the death penalty reduces crime rates or makes society a safer place. In fact, some argue that the use of the capital punishment may actually increase violent crime by sending the message that killing is an acceptable form of a punishment. In conclusion, capital punishment is a controversial and a complex issue that has both supporters and people who oppose. While some argue that it is necessary for public safety and deterrence, others believe that it is flawed and ineffective system that violates human rights and can lead to wrongful convictions and executions. The demerits discussed above highlight some of the key concerns and criticisms of the capital punishment under criminal law. Important Case Laws Bhatan Singh v. State of Punjab 1980 Bhajan Singh v. State of Punjab is one of the most important cases on the death penalty in India. In this case, the Supreme Court of India upheld the constitutionality of the death penalty, but it laid down some specific guidelines that must be followed before a person can be sentenced to death. The court held that the court uh, death penalty can only be imposed in the rarest of rare cases and it must be preceded by a fair and impartial trial. Machi Singh v. State of Punjab 1983 Machi Singh v. State of Punjab is another landmark case on capital punishment in India. The Supreme Court of India in this case laid down certain specific criteria that must be considered before imposing the death penalty. The court held that the death penalty can be imposed only if the crime is of such a nature that it shocks the conscience of the society and if the alternative punishment of life imprisonment is unquestionably inadequate. Mohan Singh vs. State of Uttar Pradesh 1973 Jagmohan Singh vs. State of Uttar Pradesh was one of the earliest cases on capital punishment in independent India. In this case, the Supreme Court of India held that the death penalty is not violative of the Constitution of India and that it can be imposed for the most serious and heinous crimes. The court also held that the imposition of the death penalty must be preceded by a fair and impartial trial and the punishment must be proportionate to the crime.